In a major step toward redefining aerial warfare, the United Kingdom has officially revealed the first rendering of its sixth-generation demonstrator aircraft under the Global Combat Air Program GCAP. This is not just another stealth aircraft project, it is a collaborative vision by three nations to dominate the skies of the future. The sleek, futuristic fighter is expected to take flight by 2027, marking a historic leap in defense technology and international cooperation between the UK, Japan, and Italy. But what does this demonstrator actually represent? How close are we to seeing the first sixth-generation fighter become reality? And will the GCAP partnership hold together amid global geopolitical pressures? Let's take an in-depth look at the aircraft, the program, and the politics shaping the fighter of tomorrow. The GCAP vision, Tempest plus FX equals Global Power with Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, was officially launched in 2022 through the merging of the UK's Tempest project with Japan's FX initiative. Italy, through Leonardo, became the third major partner. Together, the three nations formed one of the most ambitious joint military aviation programs in modern history. Each country brings unique capabilities. The UK, via BI Systems, contributes decades of advanced fighter design and manufacturing. Japan brings cutting-edge sensor technology and an expanding defense industrial base through Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and IHI, Italy via Leonardo and Avio Aero, offers avionics expertise, electronic warfare capabilities, and advanced aerospace manufacturing. Their collective aim is to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet by 20351 that can operate autonomously or alongside drones, engage with AI-based combat assistance, and integrate with the broad ecosystem of ground, Air, unveiling the combat air flying demonstrator. The newly released rendering offers the first glimpse of what the UK's flying demonstrator will look like when it takes to the skies. Produced by BI Systems, the rendering shows a sleek, sharp-nosed aircraft with features reminiscent of both the Lockheed Martin F-35 and conceptual stealth bombers. These include Outward canted twin tail fin shine fuselage for low observability rolls, supersonic inlets DSI single cockpit, twin engine configuration. A crop delta wing Desenby systems emphasize that this aircraft is not the final G cap fighter, but a testbed demonstrator designed to de risk technologies that will go into the production model. The British contractor stated that two thirds of the demonstrator's structural weight, including the fuselage, wings and tails is already under construction at its wharton facility in lancashire this marks the first supersonic piloted aircraft designed and built in the uk in over 40 years a remarkable milestone that evokes comparisons to the british aerospace eap the technology demonstrator that laid the foundation for the eurofighter typhoon not just a rendering real-world flight simulation already underway while the demonstrator is not yet airborne it's already flying virtually. By Rolls-Royce and the Royal Air Force have logged over 300 hours of simulated flight time in custom simulators, testing the aircraft's flight control systems and virtual aerodynamics. Engineers and pilots are now experimenting with various high-speed maneuvers and combat scenarios, gathering critical performance data long before the first takeoff. This data will reduce development costs, shorten timelines, and offer real-world insights into how the future aircraft will behave under combat conditions. In the words of Tony Godbold, future combat air systems delivery director at BI Systems, for the first time, people can see how this cutting-edge demonstrator aircraft will look when it takes to the skies, Design secrets and tech integration One of the most closely watched aspects of the rendering was the nose cone design. Aviation experts believe its wide structure hints at a large radar array and electronic warfare use suite, a crucial advantage in today's contested battle spaces. According to aviation journalist Gareth Jennings, the demonstrator will likely integrate existing components from the Eurofighter Typhoon program, including the EJ-200 engine, while the final GCAP fighter may use a completely new engine under development.
Bai also confirmed that advanced robotic and digital manufacturing techniques are shaping the demonstrator's body, ensuring precision and scalability for future mass production. The aircraft is expected to test a wide range of new technologies, stealth-optimized shaping directed energy weapons compatibility to mortal internal base for multirole adaptation swarming drone control systems artificial intelligence assisted flight operations a political and industrial balancing act despite the impressive unveiling. The GCAP has faced significant political and logistical hurdles in the past year. Japan's doubts in May 2025. Reuters reported that Japan was growing skeptical about the program's timeline. Internal Japanese sources raised concerns about a lack of urgency from the UK and Italy, speculating that GCAP might miss its 2035 rollout target possibly delaying full operational deployment to 2040. At the time, Washington was also pressuring Tokyo, reportedly pushing its own next-gen F-47 fighter as an alternative and questioning Japan's deep collaboration with non-US partners. Italy's frustration tensions reached a boiling point in April 2025, when Italy's defense minister Guido Crosetto accused the UK of withholding crucial technologies. Selfishness is the worst enemy of nations, he stated, emphasizing that Italy and Japan had been more transparent. Such accusations threatened to unravel the partnership until July 7, 2025. A turning point. GCAP HQ opens in the Yukon that day. The UK inaugurated the Global Combat Air Program headquarters, which now houses all three national teams under one roof. By Systems, Leonardo and JAC Japan Aircraft Industrial Enhancement Co. Military and governmental reps from the three nations the GCAP. International Government Organization GIGO for Joint Program Management British Defense Secretary John Healy, Italy's Guido Crosetto, and Japan's Gen Nakatani participated in virtual discussions, affirming their commitment to push GCAP forward. The new HQ also promises increased coordination between design, manufacturing, and defense ministry s faster resolution of technical bottle and excess centralized command structure for smoother decision making hat will the final gcap fighter look like while the demonstrator offers a tantalizing preview the ultimate production model may look substantially different here's what we expect stealth and survivability lot of radar cross-section rcs via blended surfaces and internal weapons basin fraired and electronic signature suppression i and sensor fusion i co-pilot to reduce pilot load seamless integration with satellites drones and naval assets real-time data sharing across all domains air sea land space cyber advanced engine estimate high thrust engines under development and thermal management for directed energy weapons greeter super cruisy capability sustained supersonic flight without afterburner interoperability design to adapt to mission needs compatibility with nato and indo-pacific defense systems export flexibility to other allies and partner nations what it replaces the typhoon and f2 the g Cap fighter is set to replace Eurofighter Typhoon in the UK and Italy Mitsubishi F2 in Japan. These jets, while formidable in their own right, are nearing obsolescence in a world increasingly dominated by fifth and sixth generation aircraft, hypersonic weapons, and AI led conflict. The G Cap aircraft, in contrast, will offer a generational leap in strike range SDL the Keter turn warfare strategic deterrence a race against time and China time is of the essence. China is advancing its own sixth generation fighter under the Chengdu JX program. The US is working on its next generation air dominance NGAD platform, set to complement the F-22 and F-35. Russia has hinted at plans for a MiG-41 stealth interceptor. In this context, GCAP is not just a technological challenge, it's a geopolitical race. Any significant delays could put Europe and Japan at a strategic disadvantage. That's why announcements like the unveiling of the Combat Air Flying Demonstrator 
and the establishment of the GCAP HQ matter. They're not just PR events, they're milestones on a fast-moving development timeline. Will GCAP stay on track? Recent updates suggest renewed optimism. El General Antonio Conserva of the Italian Air Force confirmed that a flying prototype is expected by 2030. Luke Pollard, UK Under Secretary of State for Defense, stated, The program is progressing well. This is about defending the Euro-Atlantic and projecting shared values globally. If these timelines hold, the GCAP fighter could be ready for deployment by 2035, aligning with the retirement schedules of current generation fighters. With the reveal of the combat air flying demonstrator, the GCAP enters a new phase one of execution, not just ambition. The challenges ahead are enormous, geopolitical coordination, cost control, tech innovation, and domestic politics. But the promise is just as great. In a world where air superiority will determine the fate of nations, GCAP represents a bold, collective step toward securing that dominance. Three countries, one aircraft, infinite possibilities. The skies are watching.